Hey guys, it's Tim. What you're about to listen to is a dual commentary with me and Dying Food. I will link his channel in the description below. You are going to be watching some Blackout Alcatraz gameplay as well as Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 4 gameplay with the Mozu. I hope you enjoy the uh, video. I'll see you guys then. Peace. I'll just start the convo. That's fine. That's fine. So I guess our first topic is going to be thoughts on Black Ops 4. Sorry. I know I saw you just did a video. So for people who didn't want to watch it or didn't see it because, you know, this is my channel. Yeah, like, what are your overall thoughts on Black Ops 4 as of now? Yeah, I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> um, <laughs> honestly, I think I, I think I truly have an unpopular opinion with this game. I've, I've grinded the shit out of this game, and I actually like it quite a bit. I have fun playing it, and uh, I really don't... I don't see why everyone is so mad. It's, it's a different type of Call of Duty game, mm -hmm. but... I still find it fun. Like a lot of people don't like the 150 health. A lot of people don't like the manual healing. Um, you know, the, the one thing I can say is I think the map variety is not the strongest. Mm -hmm. But as far as the gunplay goes and the shooting and like watching the red bar go down and just taking people out, I think it's great. I, I actually really enjoy Black Ops 4 a lot. And I think I've grown to like it more over mm -hmm. time as a non Black Ops pass owner too, which is which is kind of funny. Mm hmm. So since you like the manual healing and uh, the 150 health, like what were your thoughts on like ghosts? Because that was, you know, less health and it was auto regen health, right? So is it like completely yeah, I mean, opposite then or? I just remember in ghosts always being frustrated about dying way too fast. And okay. that's not to say, I, you know, as you might expect from me saying, I like the 150 health mm -hmm. just getting melted was so frustrating plus i was a lot worse at call of duty back then so it's like i've improved as a player to try to avoid those situations somewhat i'm not i'm not good now but mm -hmm. um you know back then i just remember a lot of frustration and uh there are other things <laughs> wrong with that game too but as melted goes fan of getting melted you know i mean okay. it was yeah sorry i kind of lost you a little bit there but i mean i kind of know what you meant <laughs> I don't know That's if it's right. the connection is or whatnot. It, uh, is the connection lagging? That could be it. Like every other word you'll like miss, like it'll, it won't come through, but I, I think it's okay. Oh my God. <laughs> it's okay. I should, I should be recording this myself. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so I did a quick Google search and Black Ops 4 offers 20 primary weapons, uh, you know, like at the start, I'm not counting DLC. And I'm pretty sure that is the lowest number of primaries in recent memory. And, and definitely in old terms, um, not old terms, old CODs, like Mono for 2, 3, Black Ops 1, there's definitely more than 20. So I guess my thoughts are that, like, I'm more about, le uh, like, leveling up guns and doing well with, like, weirder guns. Uh, that's kind of just been my playstyle since like Mono Warfare 3 because, you know, that game you could do well with a, a lot of guns, um, which I found, you know, fun. And I think in Black Ops 4 with the lack of primaries, it makes it harder to have fun the way I just described how I have fun. You know what I mean? I totally see where you're coming from with that. Mm hmm you know modern warfare 3 i know i think it had something like 45 or 46 guns at launch between primaries and secondaries which yeah obviously is much more content um mm -hmm. for someone like me i know this is kind of a cop-out answer but for somebody that loves to grind camos and get dark matter less primary is is you know it's kind of a good thing for me mm -hmm. i know it's not good a good content decision mm -hmm. but for <laughs> me i think the sprinkling in of guns throughout the game's life cycle just makes it more so you know i can get all my camos i can get the camo i want and then when the new gun comes out i can just focus on getting the new uh camo for that gun only so you know from from a content drop standpoint it might not be the best way to launch a game but i'm still okay with it i am i really am okay but you don't like camos do you so i can like... see how for <laughs> someone like you it would be frustrating I don't dislike them, and I mean, I would go for Dark Matter if snipers didn't exist, or if I didn't have to go for Bloodthirsties. <laughs> That's literally wait, wait, the only wait, reason. On. I'm, I'm going to stop you right there. I literally <laughs> said the same thing. Dude, I don't know how long you've been following me on Twitter, but when I was sniping for camos, I was like in the worst mood every night. It was so bad. 
Yeah, I'm I telling can't. you, I you will that. get through it. No, I, I <laughs> tried it. it. I, I would try it. I would go two and like 30 <laughs> or like three and like 25 for like six straight games using like the Outlaw or like the Koshka or something. And I was just like, like video games are supposed to be fun and I'm having absolutely no fun. And then I <laughs> well, started it's, thinking it's about it and I was challenge. like, yeah, I, I get that. But like, it's it's got to <laughs> feel like it's achievable. Like, like, like diamond camo for like, you know, certain weapons, like uh, back in the day, like Black Ops 2, like, like for instance, pistols. I got diamond pistols in Black Ops 2. And pistols are by no means amazing in that game. I mean, you could argue like the Cat 40 or whatever. I think there was like Attack 45. Oh, that was no. like the Attack 45 was good, dude. That was <laughs> yeah, <tough kill>. but <laughs> it's not like you would always dominate. And there were there were some bad pistols. I, I remember um, maybe the five seven or something. It's been a while, but that was something that was like achievable, in my opinion. But I, I just feel like snipers. It's just it's too difficult. Although this bull action bare bones playlist kind of got me back into sniping a little bit <laughs> because yeah i kind of wish yeah. that was uh I, I really wish that was a thing when i was doing camos because i was kind of i saved snipers for last and i kind of got myself into a corner by waiting till the end to do them i knew it was a bad idea but yeah. i you know self-aware went ahead and did it anyway but <laughs> yeah one of know, my friends just knocked uh, out snipers like right away <laughs> Yeah, and, and and my promise to myself is when when the next COD game drops, which is rumored to be Modern Warfare at the time, mm -hmm. at the time of recording this, yeah, <laughs> um, I made a promise to myself that I'm doing camos and I'm doing snipers first. So if anybody's gonna watch my channel, all you're gonna see is sniping gameplay for the first <laughs> you know couple of weeks. So do you sorry in advance. Hope I'm good at it. Hope there's <laughs> an aim assist. I really okay. do. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you think that Infinity Ward, this wasn't a pre-planned question, by the way, it just kind of came off the top of my head, but do you think Infinity Ward is going to have Dark Matter or something along those lines? Maybe not Dark Matter, but... Oh, yeah. There's definitely going to be a completionist camo. They did they did it right in Infinite Warfare, dude. I think the Black Sky one is the nicest one of all, however many. There are four or five now, hmm. and I think Black Sky is the best one. I just hope it's not sniper headshots because... That's the thing that stopped me from doing it in Infinite Warfare. It was it wasn't right. sniper one shots. It was sniper headshots. And in a right. game with jetpacks, that's just bad. Yeah, so yeah. I, didn't I, I couldn't. I couldn't do that. I can't even do this. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess speaking of past cards, let's transition to the next topic. Oh shoot, which is going to be what are your let's say top three if you top three favorite cards. Uh, if you can't think of it, just think of like the. I don't know, the first one or two that come to your head. Um, and if you need time, I can go first. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you go first because okay. I'll, I'll explain why. Let's let's hear yours. <clears throat> okay. So my number one is Mono Warfare 3. I straight up have almost 30 days <laughs> in that game. I would <laughs> like literally wake up at like 4 a.m. and play for like three hours before school sometimes. I was just really hooked on that game. And it's kind of oh odd because um, I think the most, the biggest reasons were were like the camos, even though there wasn't diamond or anything like that. But I just really wanted gold on a lot of the weirder weapons, like um, let's say like the P90. That's not that weird, but like, you know, I wanted gold on a lot of like the SMGs, the assault rifles. I even messed around with like the MSR sniper here and there because... I don't know, I just wanted to challenge. I loved the maps in that game, right? Um, that's kind of unpopular, I guess. A lot of people... <laughs> I, I don't think a lot of people like them. They were very, like, gray and washed out. I agree. Um, I did not like the maps in that <laughs> game. And the fact that Modern Warfare 3 is your favorite game of all time, just <laughs> it causes me a little bit of physical pain. Continue. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people, too. Um, but my next one is Black Ops 2, so hopefully that alleviates some of it. Um, yeah, that was my... I think second or third COD game ever, and I have probably like 20, 25 days in that. Um, obviously great maps, iconic maps. If you haven't played that game, you've, you're have you playing it now in Black Ops 4 because half the maps are in this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure like half the weapons are too or something similar. Um, but yeah, C4, um, the SCAR, the MP7, I think that was in Black Ops 2, right? Uh, yeah, the streaks, was it, the yeah. dogs, the the um, not wraps, uh, da da da, swarm, swarm. Oh yeah, VSAT that was in it. 
Yeah, it just Good did times. a lot of things right. <laughs> so definitely Bios 2. And rounding yeah, it I out... Agree with oh, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no go ahead. We'll just finish the Black Ops 2 talk, talk. Oh, I was just saying, I, I I, can forgive you for the first thing you said after, <laughs> after hearing all that. So, agree. Agree, honestly. Okay. Um, oh, one more thing about Modern for 3. Specialists going for Moabs. That was a huge grind factor for me. Because you could go for Moabs timed. You could go for it with different weapons, different maps. It was a lot of flexibility. You could do it in Affected. I just think it was really good. And Mono for 3 brought us Infected and Kill Confirmed and Drop Zone, which are really fun games. Kill Confirmed is in every, like, every game now. So, yeah. yeah. Kill Confirmed, yeah. Modern Warfare 3 gets the credit of starting that for sure. Yeah. And the Disable DLC button. Oh my god, and, I need that so badly. And Face Off. Like the face 1v1, off, yeah, 2v2, 2v2, that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh it did a lot of things right, in my opinion. <laughs> but anyway. It did do a lot of things right. Just One of the reasons I really didn't like it was like, I just, I really thought the maps were bad. Not even the okay. map colors, the color palette. I just thought the maps were bad in that game. Mm -hmm. Dome was good. Mm -hmm. And most of the other maps are pretty forgettable, if you ask me. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's my uh that's my beef with Modern Warfare 3. Okay. Fair and what's enough. your third favorite? Third favorite's Black Ops 3. Um just because I played it the most, but honestly, if I played like Advanced and Infinite Warfare in their prime, one of those probably would be up here too. Um uh, just because like playing it now, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, just picking a boost jumping game, I guess. Um Yeah. I don't know so the I maps. Did convert you all that to, stuff to an advanced warfare fan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I gave it more of a chance, and uh, I don't know. I, I like the hit detection. I like that it doesn't take forever to drop people. Um, you know, maps are colorful. I remember, I remember one of the first things you said about it was that it's <clears throat> like it's really clunky feeling, and it is. It is. But yeah. You get used to it fast, and it starts to feel smoother than than other games that you would typically play. Yeah. After a while takes a while but you do get used it, to it yeah it, it feels like the double jump is like limited once you you know jump twice it feels like you should go right. higher or fall faster something like that but you're just like hanging right. in air and that's what's like weird <laughs> yeah it's almost like a low gravity type of feeling yeah so mw3 black ops 2 and black ops 3 yes those were your top three P pretty hot take but you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah All i right. mean not not super hot, but somewhat hot, like medium, maybe it's, mild. It's mild, yeah. It's a mild take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give a spicy hot take. Um, oh, okay. My my number my number. Okay, so I don't. I honestly, I don't have a number three. And okay, it's fine. One of the reasons I asked you to go first was because maybe I thought I could over Black Ops Three. I would take it over Infinite Warfare. And the weapons were good. Uh, you know, I didn't really mind weapon variants. I know a lot of people hate those, but like they didn't ruin the game for me or anything. Mm -hmm. But I did get the ASM1 speakeasy, so maybe I'm just <laughs> <laughs> maybe that alleviated any frustration that I had with it. But Advanced Warfare is my number two game, okay, uh, without question. Okay, loved it, absolutely loved it. I will, ne I will never speak a bad word about that game. You'll, okay. you, you just won't find me doing that. Yeah, and then okay, my number one is Black Ops One. And that's just oh, that will wow. never change. Um, it was my first my first COD that I you know owned myself. Previously to that, I would go over friends' houses and play like COD Four, MW Two. Uh, I never really played World in War World at War back then, mm -hmm. but Black Ops One was just such a fun time for me, man. And like, there's a lot of personal stuff behind it too. Like I know now when you go back and play it, it's it's a lot slower than you remember it, and it has those problems. It has Ghost Pro, which is the most overpowered perk in all of Call of Duty, like, without <laughs> question. Right. Uh, you know, the only thing that could get you is the VSAT and the dogs. You're safe from sentries, you're safe from chopper gunners, you're safe from, you know, any any type of AI uh, or any kill streak like that. Mm -hmm. So, I understand... Nah, I understand. I acknowledge that it has a lot of those problems, but I just... I was at such a weird place in life when that game came out, <clears throat> man, and there was... There's, there's a lot of weird shit going on with me. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is really personal, and one day I will put it all into a video. Okay. I just, I've been waiting because I want to make sure it's, like, as articulate as possible because it's 
it was it was like the weirdest time in my life really like there's a lot of stuff going on and i want to make sure that i can put sure. that into the right words and you know simply put i was quite sad a lot back then okay. and uh you know coming home and and playing black ops with the boys made it all better yeah and uh i'll, I'll never forget it just for that <laughs> you know the, the the happiness that it brought me the true happiness i see yeah it's just mad exciting. i mean at the end of the day you know you got to be happy playing video games you yeah, know people who stress over people, it's like it's not what it's about I, I think a lot of people have personal stories like that of why their favorite cod is their favorite cod or why their favorite video game in general is their favorite video game mm -hmm. um, a lot of the games you go back and play years later and you kind of realize like wow there's a lot of things wrong with this but mm -hmm. I just associate these these memories and these feelings with this game and yeah and that's what draws me back to it and I love Black Ops 1, man. I always will. Yeah. You'll never hear me saying a bad <laughs> word about Black Ops 1. You know, you saying that about Black Ops 1 really makes me think about, like, me playing Mono for 3 um, and just, like, playing with friends and the time, you know, I had with those uh, those days. So, yeah, I completely resonate um, with you there. Yeah. It's not, it's not even necessarily about the game itself. It's about the fun you had playing. The memories the, associated. The things you were up to. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so those those are my top two. I don't have a third. I, I really don't know. Like, okay, I don't want to be too hot of a take. Like, Black oh. Ops Four could be a contender. Oh shoot! It, it doesn't <laughs> run good enough. If it Ooh. was optimized, I would honestly consider that. I Dang. consider Black Ops Three could be a contender too. Black Ops Two, like, Black Ops Two is one of those games I know is absolutely amazing, but. I just, if I could go back and relive the prime of any Call of Duty. I just wouldn't be choosing Black Ops 2. I know it was really? good, but yeah, hmm. I just, um, you know, I enjoyed the time I had on it, but I don't really have any desire to relive the Black Ops 2 days. And some people might uh, be shocked to hear that. I think it, it has, is objectively the best game. I, I think it has a bit of a Black Ops 4 issue in terms of like uh, content. Maybe I'm just not remembering everything, but I, I feel like it was lacking in something i'm not sure what maybe it was that there was no nuke or something to grind for that way but... i mean it was just it was such an innovative game it had pick 10 it was the first game right with pick 10, pick and 10. you also had uh it was the first game with score streaks previous lit to that it was right. modern warfare 3 had point streaks and then it was kill streaks before that so it had pick 10 mm -hmm. it had score streaks it was the first game with diamond camo i mean mm -hmm. there was there were so many surprises, and I think the weapon balance in Black Ops oh, 2 yeah. Very was the good. best of all time. Very you, good you weapon give balance. A, you could give a good player any weapon, and they could do good with it. So, yeah. Um, objectively, I acknowledge it's the best, but I still <laughs> just... I can't really bring myself to put it in my top three. I don't know why. Okay. Fair enough. So, um, I accidentally messed up the recording for, I think, a minute of that. Maybe like 30 seconds, so I'm just going to have to... You know edit that with text sounds like a plan dude you playing tonight uh yeah should be probably blackout honestly <laughs> you never do blackout videos do you nobody likes it like my first couple they got like half the amount of views normally and that was when i was barely getting views anyway so i was just like you know was it a live com video or was it like a funny moments thing uh i think it was a live com and then one of them was just record like a commentary over blackout uh, gameplay but oh, really? people didn't like didn't seeing well? it yeah maybe i should have edited it more i don't know yeah it is boring to to watch i mean yeah i did a couple like funny moments videos i knew they were gonna bomb because those video videos <laughs> always bombed no matter who posts some but um you know like i did like my first win and it's squads i don't know i don't i don't like watching people playing squads either to be honest like if mm -hmm. i'm watching a streamer and they're mm -hmm. all partied up with yeah i don't know there's something about it that just pisses me off <laughs> I, I can't really put my thumb on it <laughs> i see i see oh. yeah so what are you going to be working on tonight tonight probably just going to edit this video um at the same yeah. time probably just going to be playing like a game or two here and there um yeah but yeah Tomorrow's tomorrow gonna yeah tomorrow i'm gonna have to <laughs> grind for a video but it's gonna be tough because i'm gonna be watching the nba finals also so oh my god it's gonna be a long night are you off from work no 
<laughs> so I'm uh, I'm I'm purposely taking my lunch break at like twelve fifty five and coming home and like just watching this. I live like five minutes from my job, so oh, that's sick. <laughs> yeah, dude. You should. Uh... Nice. I just I go home for lunch every day. It's you so should do like sick. a. Are you gonna do like a live reaction or something like that? <sighs> I don't think so because I don't think I could get set up. And I mean, I could, but usually the events last for like you know forty five minutes or so, and right. you know, I don't like to. I could be gone for like an hour and a half, but I, I don't want to take too big of advantage. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to do a video, man. Like, I mean, if you do more power to you, I just feel like I'm going to get fucking swallowed in that algorithm. Like everybody's going to be doing a video tomorrow. Yeah. But like at the same time, you never know. New though. People will find your channel. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's just got to be unique. It can't just be like, oh, my God, new trailer. <laughs> like, OK, we, we get that. Network? i cannot stick with it <laughs> like Why? one week i'll do like a video every day and then the next week i'll do like two videos like i i just i can't stick with anything because sometimes like there's so much i want to say or like just put out and sometimes i'm just like too busy to you I know, know. I like my motivation you. like flips like so frequently so it's really yeah. tough one of the bad things about a schedule is like when you know a video is you know in quotes do <laughs> and like you're just not feeling it that day or whatever it is and you just gotta like power through it but mm -hmm. i think you know i don't know how long you've been doing it. i know every channel is different every algorithm is different but i feel like my schedule is like what's been helping me lately mm. the like i upload every monday at 8 p.m and every wednesday at 8 p.m and right i feel like youtube like figures that out after a while maybe i don't know <sighs> it's hard to it's hard to to say i mean you've been I getting think. good views I, i've seen they're like over a hundred after like what a day or something yeah That's yeah i've been really like, good for your channel size channel yeah when i'm like super happy with it so i'm kind of afraid to violate my schedule and like just post a random thursday video that might bomb and that's right. gonna fuck me up you know right but at the same time it's like every monday i do a live com video so it would be like i wouldn't talk about modern warfare till wednesday i don't know um i don't know well you could do a live com talking about mono uh no you do the gun of the week things you don't really have a topic right in that no not really i pretty much just play and react to what's going on but like i have talked about news in those videos before you uh, might that's have what I like to about your videos <laughs> like there's a topic but it's also gameplay so that's that's like a good format to have yeah i i, I try I to combine yeah i try to combine it into like the best of both worlds but sometimes it's like very distorted because like i'll be talking and then something stupid will happen and i'll be like oh what was i talking about <laughs> yeah but people love it dude like i remember i saw someone in your comments once and they were like i'm always here for the face cam reaction like, <laughs> that's what people like to see you know yeah i yeah. kind of think like i kind of think my own style of video is like not like I could put together something better, but like they're doing well and I like doing them, but I feel like they're so easy to just mm -hmm. make. Like you just get on and play mm -hmm. and react to whatever's happening and like yeah. people love it. It's like a win, win, win. What's really nice is that you don't have to stress about putting up like a 40 and two gameplay because yeah, they're not watching you for that, you know? Right, right. Like, like your riot shield thing. <laughs> no disrespect, but like you know, oh we were watching God, that for dude, gameplay. That was the worst. <laughs> that was the worst. I that literally, was so funny. Like, I'm still mad about it. <laughs> that was funny. I gotta do I'm like glad a you did it. Riot shield video. I'm glad you did it though. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. I mean, like, I was getting like ten votes per video to do it, so I was like, all right, yeah. If there's a time to do this. It's the one year anniversary. Yeah, it's crazy. Your your like fan interaction is so like good for your channel size and everything dude it's I don't, really surprising <laughs> i think i think i i attribute it to um you do this too and like keep doing it but like i answer every comment i get or mm. acknowledge it somehow like i very rarely just leave the heart i'll usually do that and respond to it and like right one thing i try to do with people is ask them a question when i respond to encourage them to respond back and then it's like you know you're talking to people and yeah. they feel like you know you're becoming friends with them and it makes them want to stick around and like come on more videos yeah so, definitely very important yeah keep doing that shit, dude because it's like it's effective and it's fun too like you meet mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. yeah so many people that i played with 
as a result of just talking to them in comments. Oh, which from is comments? Crazy. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah. I just wish uh, crossplay was a thing on COD because most people yeah. play on PS4 and I play on <laughs> Xbox. Hey, maybe uh, PS5 could happen. Oh. It, I, I doubt it. I really doubt it. Really? Okay. Like, we should if, save that for something else. <laughs> oh yeah, that that could definitely be a whole no, another uh, video talk, uh, conversation. But yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see how it works out, dude. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Well, uh, thanks for I guess coming on. And yeah, uh, dude. Well, appreciate you coming on. And um, all right, brother. Yeah, I will. Uh, I guess talk to you in the next one. Whenever right, that dude. might be. If you ever, uh, if you ever want to talk about YouTube or anything, we can we can meet up here, <laughs> here in the Discord. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. All right. All right I brother. will see you later. Have a good Peace one. Out, dude. Peace. You too.